un cambio de decir Él me encanta, yo lo quiero, pues dímelo a mí Que no me hago daño Good morning from San Juan, Puerto Rico Today we started our day in the neighborhood called Cay Luisa And this is the upcoming neighborhood where you can find a lot of murals and a lot of good food Yeah, it might look a little rough around the edges but we hear that this has some of the best authentic food in Puerto Rico and a lot of it is very very local so we're going on a food tour today with a company called Spoon. Uh, Spoon Food Tours provides lots of different uh, food experiences in San Juan, but today we're doing the Calle Luisa food tour. It's not just a food tour, we actually gonna be walking and a food tour. So we're gonna check out a few murals, some art that they have here in the neighborhood. Yep, and we are going to check out a lot of food. Apparently the portions are quite big, so we <laughs> didn't have breakfast. We made sure that we were a little bit hungry before we came here. Come hungry and wear comfortable walking running shoes. And we are now in the Casata Bakery. That's where we're gonna start the tour in about half an hour. We just met our tour leader, Pablo. There's an awful lot of last names in there. And we were just informed that back in 2011, President Barack Obama came here to this Casalta Bakery and then sat down in the same table that I think it's reserved for us. But it's gonna be like cool fun fact about this little bakery in the middle of Tai Luisa. It's the old tradition of, of the salon and, and of these spaces being of, of public conversation. It's traditional or kind of historical. First one is the beef steak slider and then served with mimosa. Unfortunately, it's not Puerto Rican style with rum, but it's simple mimosa to start our tour. You can see why, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it, think about that, there was no domestic, no sheep, no wow. chicken. No cow. That's really good. No pig. If this is no, just the start, I can imagine can what we're going to finish. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's young, kind of started calling. You need to get, you know, uh, that profit in. So therefore, the beef did create Catholic heritage. So this whole area was the area of San Mateo de Cangrejos. St. Matthew of the crowd. Okay, Cay Luisa has a long, long history, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the African part of it. So the king and queen of Spain invited pretty much anybody to move to Puerto Rico, and a lot of freed African slaves moved here as well. And they kind of settled in this area because it was a very good area to farm, and it was away from everyone else. Cay Luisa sort of became a little bit of the breadbasket for San Juan, and recently it has had a little bit of a resurgence because the food here is actually really good and it's very reflective of not only the African heritage here but a lot of the other cultures that are moving in like the Dominicans and people like that. That's where we are and we're moving on to our second restaurant right now, the first restaurant. Uh, Casalto was very very good but it's a Spanish restaurant but that's also reflective of the number of cultures that live in Puerto Rico. Now you have the distinction, this is all the gate we left the bakery and now on our way to the second stop. We don't know where that would be, but we just follow along. McDonald's! <laughs> Street art theme that is an echo of this area. This restaurant also uses that type of theme to emphasize their message and on purpose they're local. So far we've only been to one restaurant, but one thing I'm already impressed with is the level of detail that Pablo is going into on this tour. It's not just sit down and eat and explain a little bit about the food. He's actually really going into a detailed history of the people who live here and you sort of understand why things came to be. Yeah, it's a better appreciation of the neighborhood of Luisa here. Yeah, and why the food is like it is. It's, it's actually a very good tour. If you want something where you just sit down and eat, probably this is not it. Uh, but if you want something where you're going to learn about all the food and learn about how that food came to be and the people that were involved in it, the art that was involved, like everything. Like I said, we've only been in one place so far and I'm already learning so much. Yeah, that's really, really cool. I really yeah. enjoy it so far. Yep, so far so good. Anna's Cafe Mufungu, and it is a green plantain smashed up with chicken and a green creole sauce. Let's give this a try. A little bit of that sauce in there, all of my hands. 
in Jaffa. I can only get that drink ice off at the cinema. Oh, that's really good. I can see why Hollip enjoys this much yesterday. That's really good. No, they're bananas. We just got done at Anna's Cafe, and the mufongo that she makes is absolutely brilliant. It's very, very delicious. One thing that we found out about Anna is that during uh, Hurricane Maria, this neighborhood was just completely flooded, and she had one of the biggest kitchens and one of the biggest gas tanks in the whole area. So what she did when other people were running out of food and when other gas tanks were running out, she still had electricity and she still had her kitchen and more importantly, she still had refrigeration. So as people's stuff ran out, they would bring it over to her place and Anna herself would come in every day and she would supply food to all the workers who were out cleaning up everything for free. She would just uh, take all the food that was left over, cook it, and make lunch for the workers who were cleaning up after the hurricane. So if you are in San Juan, I definitely recommend you try out Anna's Cafe. Definitely try the Mofongo. It was incredibly awesome. And we are off to our next destination. These little pages that have some text usually contextual to the region. But the text here aims to kind of share a little bit of what the artists believe of this region. All along the edge of this entire lot, Por la encendida calle antillana va de cantumba de la quimbamba. The first line of a our next stop is at a place called Tostado. Tostado, and we were just told that it's a place in a building that was a failed church chicken next to a failed Burger King, and it's surrounded by the first line to the poem he just talked about. So we're going in there for our next drink and a bite. <laughs> They were gonna take over the whole thing. And then, Colombia. It's been that way for 200 odd years. Second last stop on our tour, we have what is this? A lemon ginger, oh, ginger. lemon ginger mimosa, and French toast with goat cheese and blueberry. Like the perfect. Perfect. <laughs> what is that, whipped cream? Yeah, whipped cream. <laughs> Butter? It's something that I know you're probably not going to buy. Goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I was already excited. I thought it said whipped cream. Where in that process would I find it? I'm on the fully black and kind of sweet plantain dishes are in the palm mangoes. We here in Puerto Rico call them amarillos or amarillitos. Perfect combination. Yellow to black or Good. Delicious. Cheap. Last but not least, we finally reached our fourth stop, which is our last stop, unfortunately. It seems like a little local food truck, and there's a lot of locals just hanging out and really chilled, really laid back and we are about to have some mahi mahi serviche and i think some kind of local juice and we have to pick our flavor which one are you getting guavana i think it's like milky guavana. what's the name of this guanabana 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 and they give you cardboard straws Good idea. Delicious. I like a tamarind juice. We didn't know this, but a year into working with Mario, he shared. Um, and Michael is going to try his first ever non vegetarian ceviche. It's a mahi mahi ceviche. Mahi mahi ceviche. The secondary benefit back to that. Oh, it's a lot more citrusy than I thought it was going to be. Really, really good. I don't think I've ever had mahi mahi before. That's delicious. It tastes like it has a bit of cinnamon in it. It does. It's like a, a funnel cake. <laughs> and then we'll head on across uh, to the last spot. That was a lot of ceviche, to be honest with you. That was like a big bowl. It was good. It's definitely fulfilling. Yeah. I believe this is going to be our last stop. And I think it's just coffee. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, originally we thought like, um, oh, is that be enough to, you know, feel full after this? Oh yeah, yes. it definitely is. Yes. I know we said this a couple times already, but it's Totally recommend it. Highly detailed, but yes. in a really interesting way. Just really enjoy so far. Coffee time. Like coffee time. Only like kind of that block. Though. Yeah, it's that block. Because in the beginning, when you say Calle Loisa, it didn't go as far as we went. Oh my god, I'm so full. 
<laughs> it, but it's all very eclectic and good food. Yeah, the coffee at the end was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. It's a specialty gourmet, and apparently that's a legal term that you're not allowed to use here unless it actually is specialty gourmet. Like handpick and you know single, yeah. um, single you know, batches. Yeah, yeah. So it's all really uh, personalized uh, form. So Spoon Food Tours uh, provided this tour to us. You know, normally when we do a tour like this, we we go out and we really enjoy it. But I got to tell you, I really highly recommend them. It was an, an amazing tour. So much relevant information and a lot of fun, and they do it in small numbers too. So yes. there's not a lot of people. They want to make sure that this call uh, catered all uh, towards any questions we may have or mm -hmm. like small, you know, group discussion. So it's really highly uh, enjoyable. Yeah. So if you want to do one of those tours, uh, we can put the link into the comments and and uh, you can take a look at them. Right Absolutely, there. highly recommended. We're glad we did it. Yep. And if you like this video, we'd like it if you would give us a like, a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to our videos and watch our journeys around the world, click the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications, click the bell. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Despacito, Puerto Rico. Despacito.